going to go ahead and uh, take a look at the uh, laboratory. Um, I have, uh, right now all I'm using is the temperature. It's about 26 degrees Celsius. 26.4 I think. I'm not running the humidity stuff right now. But there's the humidity sensor. Ooh, nice big spider in there. And then um, this is the water timer here that I was using for a while. Worked really well, but I'm trying to keep it nice and dry in here now, so we'll see. I'm going to take a look here. Close these up. This is what I call the lab, but it's kind of a mess right now. I've got some experiments I'm trying over here with straw. I've had some problems with straw lately. Um, it tends to get a lot of green mold, especially when I use the uh, lime, the cold pasteurization method. But uh, I've got a few that are doing all right, but majority of them aren't. So we've got some lemon. It's got quite a bit of green mold in them. Um, and of course, wine cup. I've had a terrible time trying to get them to grow. I just got to double or triple the amount of spawn. Um, other ones will take off, like the 716 here. These have the equal amount of spawn, but you can see the difference almost no growth and almost full growth here so um, we've got a small fridge down here um, laminar flow hood I've got some liquid inoculation stuff but I have had almost zero luck with that I've got my impulse sealer I use for my bags I prefer to use that over zip ties or anything else and then I've got some some petri dishes here that I'm working on. Some of these are quite contaminated and others are doing just fine. Um, I need to uh, get in here and do a lot more work and clean this out. And so we have a ventilation system in here. Um, I have to hang quite a few of these fly strips up here to keep the uh, fruit fly population down. They love it in here. So if I only have one door in and one door out, I don't have any air locks. So. But I got my continuous bag system I want to start using again. I really like using this system, but uh, I'm going to have to do some modifications to figure out how to do that. Um, got some failed experiments here with some white morel and some shiitakes I've had trouble with. Uh, um, so, like I said, there's some unused systems, the watering system I was using for a while in here, and and uh, I just kind of dis discontinued all that and tried to use this as an incubation chamber so that I can kind of keep the fruiting room stocked all the time. Only, I would like to use this as, uh, as my test lab, so we'll see. We'll see what I can do, so. All right, well. At least uh, show everybody around a little bit and kind of show them what I'm doing. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off now.